Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. We have Jing Hang with her movie, Gallery Experience. Let's take a look at a clip. Uh, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for the experience of gallery experience. <laughs> thank you. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Yes, so my film is about a little girl who um, had um, a magical experience when she first went to the gallery with her dad. And I love what you s last night when you told us about where this actually, it, where the inspiration came from is so even more magical. Tell us about where the inspiration came from for you. Um, so, um, it's my personal experience when I um, first went to the gallery with my dad. And um, um, my dad showed me a lot of like abstract paintings, but I don't like it. So mm -hmm. I went to the um, like uh, Hokusai, you know that? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. So I went to Hokusai and I really like it. And I feel like the ocean waves around me. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I'm entered that painting and uh, go through lots of different paintings. Yeah. I, I love this experience from when you was a child with your, with your dad. And then, you know, you actually showed through your amazing animation, this dreamlike sequence of what it felt like. And a lot of what we saw in the film was actually based on what you dreamt about when you was a child, right? Yes. That's amazing. So there's about a detail about the abstract painting in the first scenes. Uh, actually, I showed the abstract paintings to my nephew, uh -huh. and uh, he um, draw draw like uh, children children's painting, you know, and it's like <laughs> and it's like that. But but yeah. I've sh I I painted on the wall, uh -huh. on, on like the the on the first scenes. You know what I really loved as well is you just kind of helped us all remind each other of the power of an imagination of a child as well and the imagination that we kind of come with and it was just so nice like in this particular day and age when we're kind of all in devices and, and, and technology just what the what an imagination what a child goes through and what a painting can do for them as well and that you captured that and that was something you said that was important to kind of showcase as well in your film. Yes, um, I think, um, yeah, I, I wanted to encourage uh, more children to touch the, the arts. And yeah. yeah, so I encourage them to go to the art galleries more mm -hmm. and with their parents and um, use their imaginations to um, understand their paintings um, and um, to um, draw like mm -hmm. in their way. Yeah. I love that, and, I, and, your, and your style of animation is so like so cute, like the little <laughs> little girl and the bunny rabbit. It was it was <laughs> it was so wonderful to watch. I actually feel like all art galleries would love to see your film, and as as an application to bring young children into the gallery, I think it really has a place there. Definitely. Um, what was the what was kind of the biggest challenge you had in making this film? Yeah, because this is my thesis project, and I have to catch a lot of deadlines. And yeah. our professor was like check out our process, so mm -hmm. I have to like work, um, work like a whole night in the studio and about like uh, one month yeah. um, to always like um, don't sleep and work a whole night. Oh my goodness! Like that, but it's the world I, of I, filmmaking, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's fine because I have lots of um, good classmates, which, <laughs> like me, they work mm -hmm. whole night with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we encourage each other, and I think it's fine. And this uh, fantastic experience, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. fantastic experience of a gallery experience. Yeah. Um, what I love the I love the music in the film as well. Tell yes. us more about how you worked with the the composer. 
So my composer is Brandon Zhang, and um, he uh, um, co cooperated with me um, before. And I, I think I'm really lucky to get him. And he did a live session to about about my film, and it's like they play like violins or um, other instrument. Yeah. Yeah, in a live session. And it's yeah, really it was very nice. powerful, and it flowed really well as as, yeah. as we journeyed through the, the little girls and the character. Um, what what was I mean? This is the thesis film, and it which is yes. amazing because I'm <laughs> like, wow, you've got so many more amazing projects to continue to do. What was your experience taking your thesis film and seeing it on a big screen in front of an audience at New Film in Kazale? What was that experience like? I think it's really good. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> lots of people like clap so, um, to my film, and yeah. they love it. I feel it's so nice mm -hmm. and i uh after the after i showing the film um there's a lot of like music composer contact me and <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> yeah they want to compose my film and i think it's really nice i want to like um work with them in the future yeah it's, that's that that's got to be wonderful when people are coming up to you and saying hey i want to work with you yeah and your projects <laughs> oh my goodness that's fantastic that's what it's all about um what what have you learned from being in school maybe any animators out there that want to follow in your footstep maybe things you've learned from your professors or something you go by as a filmmaker what what kind of advice would you give to any other animators out there Actually, um, when I, I was undergrad, I'm doing like the environmental arts and this doing like landscapes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's my previous major. Um, and but I, I, for me, I don't like to do the real, real landscape. Mm -hmm. I like to do landscape for animation. Mm -hmm. So you see my um, background painting is really nice because I, I really like to draw them. And um, I think um, I think uh, even you are not from the animation major. I think it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you can do you can do um, you can do um, you what you like. Yeah. Well, I love that you were from it, doing a different major, and then you evolved into this, and and now you're making movies, which is which is which is wonderful. Um, what is next for you? Mm, I still want to do um, arts for the children and. Um, Maybe for uh, formative education, and uh, also may gonna try another different styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I love the experience that you gave me watching it. I think it's such an encouraging story, and I think you know again people clapped watching your film because it, it it made them feel something special, maybe something like nostalgic from when they were young or they wanted to go to an art gallery and experience it or maybe take their kids there. Was that something that you wanted your audience to kind of take from is to take those kind of elements from your film? Yeah, I think go to the gallery is a really nice experience mm -hmm. and you can um, I try different styles and I go I go to different places to go to their galleries mm -hmm. and and to understand their culture and it's, Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Yeah. Well, Jinghang, you've inspired everyone to go to a gallery now, so that's where <laughs> we're all going to go after, straight after this interview. Yeah, no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much for your, your wonderful talent and for, and for bringing gallery experience to us, and we're looking forward to seeing many of your projects, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jinghang, everybody, thank you. Thank you.